Hey everyone, so brand new episode of The Walking Dead, brand new mission, The Minefield. Across the minefield to Meridian. I didn't know the bad guy's HQ was called Meridian, but um, okay, that's cool. McGaggy, Negan and Gabriel, yep, they were the main protagonists, I guess, in the story. Uh, Maggie has got that harpoon gun again. It really seems strange to me that she uses a bow and arrow in the actual show. But here they characterised her as having a, a harpoon gun, which is just it's kind of strange. Okay, so we've got the, the mines back in the game. There's, um, I can't remember the specific name of the other mission that has them. But you're going to want to keep a close eye on the ground, even... You know, even in this, even in the easy sort of setting, reach the exit. Okay, well, does that become activated? Um, is this a good representation of the episode? Oh, okay, well, that doesn't matter. That's not going not gonna to carry over. Uh... I mean, this does happen, but of course the main thing is that they're they're sort of sneaking. They have to be disguised because, um, you know, Pope's men. Oops. Are um, kind of like looking out for them. So I'm surprised that everybody isn't um, sort of gooed up or, or they haven't, you know, sort of given the... Uh, uh, the herding kind of game mechanic to anybody. You know, the thing that Beta can do. So, it's pretty straightforward. You're just, you're just running across the map. Yeah, I can't see that this would, would really be a problem for anyone. I'm, I'm struggling to think of any uh, particular tactics except for try not to do what I did a couple of times <laughs> that run through, which is uh, get blowed up. That's where the real risk is. God, it's so much fun to watch these walkers just explode into a million pieces, though. We've got Negan's eeny, meeny, miny, mo thingy kind of kicking in. That's pretty good. There is a threat counter as well. Is that a problem? Mm, arguably not really. Especially not since these walkers can very easily walk into the mines. Yeah, just make it to the end. What can you say? That there's not really any any shockers or surprises. You know, I really feel like in this mission we should be making use of the walkers rather than being threatened by them, but okay. Alright, that's not what they're going for. Shh. Somebody is looking out for us. Of course they are Gabriel. Okay, anyway, so what about the actual episode? Started off with that nice push-in on Meridian. Um, and it's very interesting. They sort of send that guy out on the mission. And it's weird to be rooting for Whisperers. Okay, so we know that it's uh, McGaggy and Negan. Um, it's just interesting what that scene contains. They're using the tactics that they once thought to be inhuman and abhorrent. When it was their enemy using them. But now they're happy to adopt them because it's convenient. And of course, further to that, Maggie was taught how to do that by her arch nemesis, uh, um, Negan, who at one point was the scourge of our heroes, the guy that everyone wanted dead. It's just interesting. Um, it's an interesting, you know, kind of, sort of way to play that, I guess. Um, and I liked it. Yeah, very interesting. Definitely a, a much more action-packed episode this week as well. A lot of um, a lot of excitement, not a lot of slow, talky dialogue stuff. Plenty of action, which is not always a good thing. But in this case, I thought, yeah, we needed a bit of action, a bit more forward momentum, bit of excitement, and and we got it. We you know we got it. Bit of a shame that uh, the Commonwealth wasn't in there, but that's not going to be in every single episode, I guess. Uh, cutting back to that might have killed the momentum. So, yeah, it's a pretty good episode. Um, other notes that I've got: Pope should really have offed Daryl by now. 
Yes, Daryl definitely benefits from plot armor. They do toy with that a little bit. Um, spoilers, by the way. They do toy with that a little bit at the end, um, which I actually really appreciated. I really like. It's just... Pope is just a paranoid weirdo who has killed people for far less than the kind of crap that Daryl's been throwing his way. Just... That character just so it's nothing against the actor or anything. It's just the character seems a little poorly defined. Seems like it would have killed Daryl by now. Um, mm. Anyway, um, I noticed that when the mines started going off, one of the walkers quickly skedaddled away. That could have been because it was supposed to be one of our heroes um, doing the whole whisperer thing. I actually think it kind of looked like an extra just got a little bit too close to that explosion. It happens. It really, really does. You you think that the safety is there, that everything is all perfectly in order. It's like, no. You can easily almost get blown up on set. And there's explosives going off. Um, uh, mines seem like the worst offense you could possibly have. Think about it. What's it going to do? As soon as mines go off, what's going to happen? You're going to attract more walkers. Um, and it's not necessarily going to kill them anyway. You could blow their legs off, but they're still going to be moving around. Explosives, not actually a very good idea against uh, zombies. Um, and of course, problem number two with a minefield, it creates a lot of noise and flashes and explosions, which is a distraction. So I don't know if some people were trying to infiltrate your camp, they could probably do it quite easily if your defense is active and there's mines going off all the time. Uh, what's next? Oh, Pope is clearly batshit crazy. He's insane. He revels in sacrificing his own men. He even thinks that it's a good thing. Uh, he's directly killed somebody by shoving him into a fire when he didn't really have to. Uh, he sent men on suicide missions and he's otherwise endangered his own people like almost burning Leia alive um, in that hut. With Daryl, um, no one would follow him. I know that it's The Walking Dead, and I know that we've had crazy people. Like Alpha, though she created a culture uh, and a structure, and she essentially ran things like a cult. Pope um, goes nuts and shouts at people, and then just sends them off to die, and he goes like, uh, it was God's plan or something. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, okay, fine with that. They otherwise seem to be quite militarily minded and level headed. Um, there's no way they would have followed this guy. <laughs> he sucks. Oh, next note. Badass Rosita. That was a great scene. She just goes out, starts taking down those, those walkers. Of course she'd be able to do that by this point. I never really thought of her as one of the tougher characters. I know she's supposed to be from the military, but it's just, it was great to just sort of see her doing that. And was she using the Obsidian, what's it called, the Obsidian Ripper from this game? That warrior weapon that was given away as an award for a seasonal event. Has the little spikes in it, kind of looked like it. I was wondering where that came from. Um, uh, the bit where they go to the rooftop with the improvised MBRL looks like the set from the room. <laughs> looks exactly like it. It's really funny when Pope kind of like walks out of that doorway. Oh, hi, Pope. Um, this is genius. It's brilliant. And weren't they on the roof anyway? They were like on the top, on, on the structure, kind of like looking out down on the minefield. Like, where did he come from? Like, they weren't on the top of the building. Anyway, okay, all right, fine. <laughs> uh, what's the next note? Oh, badass McGaggy. That must have been when she uh, she jacked that truck, smashed it into the fence. Rosita McGaggy just being shown off to be absolutely amazing. Uh, badass Gabriel. Yep, that's my third note. That's my third badass note. Uh, just, just saving butts with that sniper rifle, even though he's only got one eye. I don't know why they keep giving the guns to the guy with one eye. Um, but to think he's shooting it right-handed and using his left eye to... Wow. To snipe, to spot, that's just absolutely fantastic. And he's not being a psychopath. Normally, I make a point of uh, how frequently Gabriel is just a remorseless psychopath. In this one, he, he killed, but with good reason. You go, Gabriel. You put in that personal growth. Um, mm -mm. 
Leia's reason for killing Popey and dobbing in Daryl kind of makes sense. Um, and I love the ending. We got a new baddie. And I didn't see it coming. And already she's, like, way more interesting than Pope. Uh, building her up to actually have a character and a history with Daryl and everything. It's actually kind of cool. And you hate her, but she's explained where she's coming from. And she just seems more reasonable, but also, in a way, more ruthless than Pope. And I think that she's actually going to make a way more interesting bad guy. Um... And, of course, she knows about Daryl and the group and how they operate and everything. So, yeah, bad guy Leia. All for it. Fantastic. What did you guys think of the episode? Um, I actually was a big fan of this one. Like the action, like the revelations, like the fact that Pope got offed. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. And, as ever, thank you for watching.